very, very exciting today. I'm at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Um, got an invite from BMW UK to ride the, uh, their custom R, R18 up the hill climb. So uh, it's a bit of a bucket list thing to me. So recently my, uh, <laughs> my life's been full of bucket list, thing, bucket list things coming true. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna die. But uh, yeah, I've recorded a little bit going up the hill. There's some incredible bikes here. So I'm gonna have a little wander around, interview a few people, have a look at some of these bikes and enjoy my first time up the hill climb at the Festival of Speed. Absolutely fantastic. Chopsy, roll the intro. You lucky sod. <laughs> Been there, sort of waiting about about 25 minutes, sort of moving a bit. So it's like being in a traffic jam on the M25, but cooler. <laughs> the amount of cars here is unbelievable. There's so many cool cars here. Uh, it's just going unbelievable. We're just literally queuing up to the start line now. So I think they've said another 10 minutes, and uh, we're good to go. The guys on the Thornton 100 uh, bikes are here, and they've built their. I think it's their fastest, the most powerful ever bobber. They're aiming for 320 horsepower out of that. So we're going to go over and do a little feature on that in a minute. And there's a few other bike manufacturers here. Customs are going to go and have a chat with in a minute. But uh, this is brilliant. Real bucket list stuff for me. Incredible. Can't wait to get up there. Which way we go? To burn out or not to burn out is the question. Because of the torque of the engine as it holds right off as you rev it, I don't burn it out, it'll bloody go over. <laughs>
very cool. There she is, this is my beast I rode up the hill. Unfortunately, this on the morning hill climb, um, it rained, I wasn't here for this one, but it rained, so it got really dirty, and they haven't been able to get the balloters over it, so I actually rode uh, a completely filthy R uh, Custom up the hill. <laughs> but look at this thing, it is incredible, absolutely incredible. And the noise, oh, the noise wanting to come out on camera, it sounds amazing, and when you rev it, the whole bike rocks like crazy but uh, yeah that was it that was my steed for the hill climb this morning oh i could have taken the m thousand rr you know, 50th anniversary edition up the hill but i thought mm, yeah that's cool but i thought mm, this is cooler also take a look at this this is the bomota tesi h2 so basically the same h2 engine which is in my h2 ninja but in a Bermota chassis with fancy suspension and uh, oh, get this arrow on it as well. Titanium arrow, OZ racing wheels. This is pretty special. This is pretty special. Rode up to the uh, top of the hill climb, got off and uh, had a chat to the guy riding it. He said, oh, this, this is, I haven't seen one of these in the flesh before. I said, are you, uh, who are you? Anything actually to do with them? And he goes, oh, I'm the MD for the Motor UK. I said, oh, really? I've got a YouTube channel. He goes, oh, come up and see us and you can take it out for a spin. So uh, I've got the guy's card and hopefully I'll be going up to see them and taking this out for a spin. So I'll let you know how it compares to my H2. We've got one of the scramblers, I think, which must be from the Bond movie. I'm assuming this is one of the ones used in the new Bond movie. Uh, one of the actual bikes in that chase scene through the town in Italy. And they do that massive jump up the wall, which is actually a, you know, a practical jump. Could be this very bike which did that. Yeah, I'm right. Featured in the 25th Bond's No Time To Die movie. Thought it was. Screen used. This is really interesting. I was chatting to the guy, again, going up the hill climb, the guy who owns this company who make these there's six of these being produced this is his own one you know like the original prototype if you like it's got the same engine as what's in my hope motor the 1100 air cooled ducati engine exactly the same motor in a bespoke chassis with i don't even know what you call this sort of um you know front end the same as what's on the bemota actually but this thing is uh, rather Rather special, rather special this as well. It sounds absolutely amazing. Rough Superior. And another, I don't know much about these, but there's also the Aston Martin bike here. So, no, absolutely nothing about that. But uh, apart from it looks pretty cool. The star of the show though, is the uh, Thornton Motorcycles Bobber. This thing is just amazing. They're basically building the world's fastest Bobber. And you would have seen, I was behind Jody on the hill climb on this. Second and third gear, burn it, rolling burnouts on this. Supercharged, completely custom Rotec supercharger on this, built just for this. You know, they, they've designed and manufactured all of this supercharger system. The inlet as well is all completely custom built by Jody. Same with the intercooler and stuff down here as well. But I mean, this this thing is and it's also got nitrous as well so the target is 320 horsepower from this 320 horsepower they actually blew up their original motor so they're in the process of building the next note this is like a donor engine this one i don't know what power it's putting out at the moment but this is uh yeah this is so cool this is proper proper special the engineering gone into this bike is amazing We've got the MV Rush as well. Limited edition MV. Also looks rather tasty.
But there we go. Um, an incredible day, basically. Um, it's literally a bucket list thing for me. I was so hot when we got back from the hill climb because it's really muggy today. It's about 28 degrees, really muggy. I had to walk, did all the hill climb, had to walk uphill for about half a mile to go back to get changed and I nearly fainted. I was, I was so hot, I was so hot. But yeah, it's, it's, it's been an incredible experience. You know, I've, I've got to really thank BMW, Motorrad and Neil for the invitation. Really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I chose to ride the uh, R18 because that, that was just awesome going up the hill climb on that, revving it up. Oh, it's been such an experience. So uh, a bit of a short video, but I just wanted to bring you guys along and have a look at this and you know, thank you guys for, for watching the channel and getting me these opportunities really because without you watching my videos, I wouldn't be getting these invitations to do this stuff. So it's all thanks to you. So I really appreciate it guys. And I'll see you in the next one. This is power level one which is full power. It's bad boy. I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life.